Hello and welcome. Is Keanu Reeves a saint? Like, he's so pure feeling to me. And so I'd like to take a look at the cards. I'm going to be using Steampunk. I want to take a look at the cards and see like, what the heck is it about Keanu Reeves? You know, there's a lot going on about his, um, like he doesn't touch women like every photo of him with a fan or another movie star like you can see his hand outside on the edge and you know we all speculate as to why he does that is that just you know to be a gentleman is that um a way of preventing an energy transfer um you know whatever that is and you know how he's so calm and humble and I know he's gone through a lot of trauma in his life so what I would like to ask the cards is what, you know, what's the deal? What's the deal with Keanu Reeves? Is he a saint? Is he um, an ascended master reincarnated? Like, I want to know. Oh, right when I said that, right when I said that, the Eight of Wands popped out. So the Eight of Wands would be... Um, the Rockets of Desire launching, which reminds me of Abraham Hicks. Um, I always like when Esther is speaking uh, about the law of attraction and she says, launching your Rockets of Desire, like this is the image that kind of comes to mind. And the eight being uh, kind of the infinity symbol, which is not actually symbolized or represented here on the card, but it does remind me um, that the eights are about um, reciprocation and getting back what you put out and, you know, launching these rockets. And noticing in this deck that all of these wands are a different style, okay? So we have, you know, they look like sticks. They look like, um, like they're on fire. This looks almost like it's got gems or something on it. Like there's just different rocket styles right and they're made out of different material so i feel like i feel like um he's like here to help manifest um now where hmm, what is keanu reeves purpose in humanity Page of Swords. I, I need two cards. Okay. Page of Swords and Seven of Swords. Interesting swords. So the swords are about thought and communication. Oh, Jesus. Y'all. Y'all. Okay, so, okay. I'm going to take it one card at a time. So the Page of Swords, the page is about youth. Um, apprenticeship is the word that just popped in. Uh, it's you know, it's somebody who's learning, who's new. Um, we have the hot air balloon behind as well. Um, that is very, it's very air energy, which is the swords, which represent thought and, but it's stable. See how it's, it's not floating at the moment. It's about kind of getting, okay. I heard something about rains. Um, I think there's like something that you're supposed to pull on in the hot air balloon to make it work. But, um, so yeah, this would be like learning, learning something, okay? Learning how to operate this, uh, hot air balloon, learning how to, how to think, learning about thought, learning about not letting your thoughts get away. I just heard the word tethered, learning about how to tether your thoughts, whatever that means. Okay. So now I want to jump into the seven of swords, which gave me the most insight, um, immediately, uh, does this look familiar, y'all? Is this not the Illuminati sign with the swords through it? I mean, or at least a close... To me, that's the first thing I, I thought of when I saw it. I know there are other meanings to this symbol. I know there are several um, religious, uh, you know, ancient... This symbol is found in a lot of places in the world, so it couldn't have a, a much higher meaning. But um, the Illuminati... I just want to say that, like, I don't want to say it too much because I don't want YouTube to, like, 
suppress this in some way. Uh, but the Seven of Swords is about deception and and thievery and this this character is um still it looks like she's stealing from whatever this organization this is a door that's closed so the doors in tarot would represent opportunity and those doors are closed so that opportunity is closed it looks like she's stealing from whatever this opportunity was she's taking from it i i feel like when somebody were to, if somebody were to steal something from an elite organization such as it would be to expose them so i'm wondering is keanu reeves here on this planet not really knowing that you know that this is why he's here, you know, because a lot of us, you know, we don't know our purpose. We just are who we are and we affect who we affect. But I, I feel like he's here to help us manifest better, okay? And his, his purpose is to kind of teach us about how our thoughts affect our reality. And um, I feel like Okay, oh, I'm really being drawn to the movie, um, the John Wick movies, where he's actually a part of an elite fucking organization. Oh my god. Okay, so, um, and he gets kicked out. Okay, like, this is very, okay, this is very John Wick feeling all of a sudden. Um, he kind of gets kicked out of this elite organization for breaking the rules. Um, is, oh, I'm gonna ask the cards. Is the John Wick movie really about the Illuminati? Um, <laughs> happy cards would be like a yes. Um, yeah. Um, I feel like okay. I'm getting it's like a sugar coated version. It's sugar coated. See this doorway. It's this arch same as a doorway this one's very open and we have the sun shining on the other side of it so i feel like this is a i keep hearing the word resounding resounding yes okay so i'm getting kind of a yes i'm gonna pull another card nine of wands that spyglass is the first thing um it's definitely being watched um, now the nine of wands is about, um, like kind of putting things together and being in the final stretch of things, um, kind of taking a look, okay, taking a look back with what you've accomplished so far and that like the 10 is the completion where the nine is like you, you're missing one piece to the puzzle and you're looking for that piece to the puzzle. So I feel like in a way, in a way the John Wick movies are related to, or at least metaphorically, I will say so as not to be suppressed by the algorithms that be, um, in a way related or at least, um, uh, hinting, hinting or kind of in satire over it. So I believe, I believe, okay, are his movies, are his movies um, a message from him to the rest of the, the world? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. He's giving us options. He's giving us options so that we can find the truth for ourselves. The seven, there's some options there. <clears throat> Take notes, okay? It's, you know, recording information, okay. So, yes, I, I feel like the movies that he chooses are for a reason, with a purpose. Um, like, this could be a script. Uh, I know, I believe he, like, produces some things, too. 
I would have to look into that to see if that what that means. But um, I believe he's giving us some options here so that we can judge for ourselves. Um, noting that these are both sevens here as well. All right, so the the number seven coming up there is very interesting. Um, so yeah, is does does Keanu Reeves know that he is special in some way? What is Keanu Reeves' level of awareness? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. There's another eight. We have this eight here too. Um, yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know how special he is. He's got to know on some level, but I don't think he is aware of his, like, the spiritual implications of his journey here. Um, now, there is a very small, I know this is like highly unlikely, that he would um, <clears throat> ever see this, but the full card just popped out. I didn't ask any questions, um, but I feel like that is a confirmation that he does not in fact know his spiritual um, purpose here he like maybe he has an idea but not um, not fully <clears throat> like he started this journey he's he, he's he's on this journey um, like blindly the fool is uh, like a naive um, starting something new ready to like jump off of the cliff uh in an advice spread it would indicate yes do the thing um take the leap um so yeah if keanu reeves is watching this video what message do we have for him oh yeah Ah, okay. So the Three of Swords being about heartbreak. <clears throat> he has gone through a very traumatic um, experience here on this planet. Uh, but uh, I feel like if he were to watch this, the cards, the universe, the spirits would like him to know that things are balanced. Um... He lost a child. I believe he either lost a sister or his sister had cancer and recovered. I cannot remember. Um, he suffered a lot of loss. We have the temperance card uh, indicating a balance. And, um, you know, she's dipping her toes in the water. It's about taking things one step at a time. And I really see this as... She's an angel. This would be her halo. Can you see that? Let's see. You see, there's there's like a light orb above her head. And with the two spinning uh, gears, they're together. Um, that would be the message that they would want him to hear should he ever, ever know about this reading. Um that even though he was heartbroken, sorry, I'm going to talk to him like I'm talking directly to him, like this reading is for him. Keanu, your heartbreak was for a purpose. It was to get the gears in motion, um, to keep the balance. They needed more angels and that your losses are together um, they're together and they're watching you and helping you keep the balance so that would be a message I would give to him if he were watching and um, yeah so there's that uh, what can we do what can we do to help him on his journey star, the Hierophant, and the fucking
fucking hermit. Oh, you guys. <sighs> Notice these are all major arcana cards. We have the star, which is about hope, wishes uh, being fulfilled, I guess, um, in a way. The stars also, literally, he's a star, if you want to go that route. The Hierophant is a teacher, um, often depicted as clergy um, in the various tarot decks. Um, usually has the symbol of the two keys, which I would, I mean, I know they have their own meaning, but being directly on top of the um, the Temperance card right there, which is about kind of balance, I feel like that's that's a strong indicator of, of the balance, teaching the balance. Um, and then the Hermit is the going within, um, secluding yourself, which we have all been doing lately as much as possible with, um, you know, the climate of the virus era. Um, I feel like what we can do to help him is to just share hope, teach people hope, teach how, teach people how to be their own inner warrior, how to tap into their own uh, power, okay? The hermit goes off by himself to find himself, to um, understand himself better, and I feel like if you are seeing this and you want to perpetuate the energy that he puts out, um, this is how we can go about helping to um, help him manifest a better world because I feel like that's what he's trying to do. Um, and, you know, you don't have to push it on people, but, you know, if somebody asks you for assistance in some way, or um, how to do something, be a teacher, be a leader, um, lead people with hope, but not false hope, lead people into themselves, lead people into how to trust themselves and how to be, you know, better and more authentic in their own energy, you know, to hold that space for themselves and to be the light, to be a beacon for others who want to learn. So I'm going to ask the direct question. It's kind of yes or no, but is Keanu Reeves a saint? Ten of Pentacles. I don't think that he's a saint. I think that he comes from, oh, so this happens a lot when I read on other people's, like, uh, like when I do deceased celebrities, um, this happens, <laughs> this has happened like several times. Um, tarot reader, she's got a tarot card, right? And it's, she's holding the 10 of pentacles and seeing the Ten of Pentacles happen right there. So, um, or the Ten of Cups even feels like more. Um, I don't feel like he's a saint as we would see a saint. I do feel like, I feel like he's all, oh, I feel like he's from another dimension, yes, but not a saint. And after I came to that conclusion, look in the sky. What are those? I mean, they could be, you know, steampunk style era airplanes or um, what, the, what are those blimps, the uh, Zeppelin or whatever. It could be kind of indicating that, but spaceships. I don't think he's a saint. I think he's from another dimension, though, um, or he's just like on a different plane than us energetically. Um, Is Keanu Reeves existing in the fifth dimension? We're aware of his existence in the fifth dimension. Let's rephrase that. Is Keanu Reeves aware of his existence on the fifth dimension? Duh. The lover's card. Um, I think he knows uh, that he has access to 
other um, energetic fields or other realms or um, he can kind of appear. See how she, this angel, right? She's kind of, it's almost like a genie in a bottle, kind of like the genie in the lamp from Aladdin appearing out of smoke, you know, like she's, she's half here, half there, like she's in and out. I feel like he does maybe visit other realms. I don't know if he's a meditating kind of person. I don't think, I don't know if he's discussed, discussed that, but I feel like it's a possibility that he may, um, he may be like an astral traveler or um, he changes between realms. I don't, I don't, I don't know how aware he is of this, but I feel like he is aware when he's there, but perhaps he doesn't remember when he comes back to our plane. Um, but I believe he does visit other planes. So I don't think he's a saint, but I do think he's kind of interdimensional. Um, and I believe his purpose would be to kind of expose corruption and to, to help us see our thoughts manifesting and how that all, you know, like without having to be vocal about it, he's leading by example. Thank you. That's what, that's what I just heard. He's like leading by example. So be the beacon, be the light. Okay. Be the light, be a beacon, share your gifts. So yeah, that's what I'm going to, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I hope you enjoyed, uh, if you liked this video, uh, you know, subscribe. I've got more in me, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and as always have a blessed day.